Hello guys, my Orostrap 2 arrived yesterday and I wanted to share with you what's in the box and what I think about it after almost a day of using it. So let's start with this. What's in the box? So I got a quick start guide, uh, how to mount it, how to replace the battery, how to set it up and all those things. If anything is unclear, just drop me a message in the comments and I'll try and make another video, make another video and show you everything you might need to know. We have the Orostrap 2 with, so it came with large loops pre-installed, so I have to change them. And in the box, there are So there are a couple of loops, but first of all, that's the pick that you need to use if you want to replace the battery or the loop. And it comes with three different sizes of loops. Uh, what, what, what one start? The double XL, the medium, yeah, medium and large. So four loops all together, medium, large, XL to XL and of course the device itself. Now, as I said, I had to replace the loop that came pre-installed um, because it couldn't fit my not very big hand, but hey, that's it. How do you mount it? How do you install it on the watch if you like? Well, pretty much like any other Apple Watch strap. Just put it there until it clicks and same on the other side. Now, so far, so good. The thing I don't like about it is that I need to stretch this whole thing to get it on my wrist and it doesn't feel right. And if you have to do this uh, twice or three times a day, that's a problem. Once it's on, it's good, it's stable, it feels nice. I slept with it, uh, no issues, no rash, no irritation of the skin, so good materials. But yeah, it's a bit annoying that it, you can't just unclip it or you know, do something like this. The other thing I don't like is the app. The app's got pretty bad reviews um, and I'm getting why. So first setup, um, it was tricky, let's say, because the app kept crashing for some reason. So I got annoyed with it and before breaking it, I just left it aside, tried again and it worked um, partially because it detected the aura strap pairing, creating an account, everything was all right. And then when I tried to take a measurement, oh my goodness, that's where it got really, really annoying. So first the app was just crashing, absolutely no reason given, nobody knows why. And then it started taking measurements, but then it was saying bad measure and yeah, it, it wasn't smooth, but once it's done, it looks good. I'm going to show you. So you need to open the app on your watch and maybe on your phone. And to take a measurement, you need to touch those two contacts with your other hand without making contacts with the hand you wear the watch on. Now, I'm not sure why my display is off. I set it to be on on 70 seconds, or at least that was the advice. So we're just going to enjoy this moment in which you can't hear anything apart from my annoying voice. But hopefully the measurement will be done soon. No, actually, no, that's annoying. Let's just do it. So dashboard, touch the contacts, and that's what it looks like. Takes a couple of seconds, and if you're lucky, you're going to get it right the first time. This morning I tried to take the measurement and I did exactly the same thing three times and it only agreed with me on the third attempt, but yeah. I, I, I get it why the, the, the app got so low ratings. Hopefully it's work in progress and it's going to be improved. When all the dots are filled, then you are ready. Yay! Completed! So that's going to synchronize with your phone and you can see these different levels. I'm not sure how accurate are they because I can't compare them with any other product, but I know my body and I think it's, yeah, fairly close. That gives you the amount of fat, muscle tissue, water, the bad fat that's around your veins and arteries, 
protein levels, lean mass, and so on and so on. And it also tells you what's the average for this age group and weight group. So you can see there the average is supposed to be anywhere between 14 and 20. And in my case, it's low. And my fat levels are twice the amount they're supposed to be on average. Overall, it's a good product. Um, there's still room for improvement, but yeah, 24 hours with it, apart from the annoying bit when you to stretch this, take it off and so on and so on. And sometimes the measurements are not working. Um, I like it. I like it. The battery is supposed to last for around six months. Mine is already down to 80%. So it's a replaceable battery though. So that's not a big issue, but it's not what it claims to be. Hopefully the rest of it will be all right. Uh, you can take showers with it, sweat resistant, and it's all right in shallow water. So if you have one of those ultra watches and if you want to dive with the strap, don't. It's, it's not going to end well. Okay, where are we? What's that? Six minutes. I think that's long enough. So what do you get in the box? You get the strap with four replaceable loops, different lengths. This thing, as I said, quick guide and the pick for changing the battery or changing the loops. Um, oh, one more annoying thing. Um, randomly start taking measures if you just accidentally touch those. When it just decides, okay, let's take a measure. Not a big deal, but I guess it reduces the battery life and you don't want your watch to vibrate for no reason. Um, let's stop it there, guys. Let me know what do you think. Do you have one of those? And any questions, any tips of how to apply all these things in the comments and I'll try and help. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.